100%. There has been also a lot of instances when the security services go to the president, get a special approval, and we still provide the funds. So perhaps what we are providing is not enough, but the fact is we provide what is budgeted and we provide what is approved. So maybe the thing to do in a, in a later meeting is to take stock of the real needs of the Nigerian and we'll have an opportunity uh, in a supplementary budget that is coming on so we can address some of that. But if you will permit me, I'll just pr uh, present very quickly and at high level some of the information that we have put together regarding financing of the Nigerian Army. And I'm starting with funding of the Nigerian Army, capital funding for the Nigerian Army. In 2019, what was budgeted for the Nigerian Army was 19.6 billion, and 12.6, uh, 12.84 billion of that was released and represented 64.37%. In 2020, Mr. Colleague, that is on A. If you yes, look at that's, uh, I'm looking, I'm reading, the I'm speaking to Shadow A, just the front page. You, you refer to A. Yes, so okay, go ahead. A. And then in 2020, the total capital budget for the armed force for the Nigerian army was 34.37 billion, and this amount was released 100%. In 2021, that is this current year, the total budget for the Nigerian army is 29 billion. And so far, uh, and we're in May, and this is as at April, we have released 17.98% of that, which is 61.92%. Uh, so it means we are on course to also release 100%. Uh, percent. I would like to just report briefly on, um, sorry, uh, briefly. So also, if you look at the same Appendix A, there were some outside of uh, budget spending because the need was higher than what was provided for in the budget. And there was a total provision of uh, 64.5 billion for procurement of military equipment that was provided from a true special approval of, of Mr. President. And we have the details of this that are attached to this uh, grand summary. And in terms of overhead cost, in 2019, what was budgeted as overhead for the Nigerian army, it was 15.64 uh, billion, out of which we released 14.299 billion, representing 91.01%. In 2020, what was budgeted was 20.634 billion, and out of this we reduced. Sorry, Minister, we are lost. Also, I moved to B because he said you didn't want to go through details. Can refer us to the document so that we will follow okay, you. So I'm now on B, which is uh, uh -huh. details of overhead costs. Yes, B. The uh, distinguished colleagues, B. Appendix B. So no, for, go for, ahead. The, for 2019. Of the 15.64 billion, 14.22 billion was released, re representing 91.01 percent. And 2020, of the 20.634 billion, 20.471 billion was released, representing 99.21 percent. In 2021, that is the current year, the total budget for the year is 20.63 billion, and. Four months, uh, three months releases that we've done so far on overhead, totaling 4.99 billion, representing 96.75% of the prorated budget for the three months, because the year is still running. I'd like to move to items, uh, Appendix C. Yes, Appendix C is uh, the personal cost, the Nigerian Army personal cost. In 2019, what was budgeted as personal cost for the Nigerian Army was 192.155 billion. But because of the adjustment that we have to make for the minimum wage, the spending, the releases, was 122.91% over the budget at 237.42 billion. And apart from the releases that were directly done in the budget by adjustment for the minimum wage, there was also an additional release of 45.1%. 95 billion from the public service wide adjustment also uh, meant to be augmentation of salaries due to the shortfall in the budget. Remember in 2019 when the budget was passed the consequential adjustment negotiations were not concluded. So we have had to make those adjustments. So the total releases to the Nigerian army was 282.1 
1.61 billion, representing 146% over what was initially planned in the budget. In the year 2020, what was budgeted for overhead was 408.39 billion, and out of that we have released 399.18 billion, representing 97.74% of the budget. And in 2020, we're on course with total release now averaging 96.64% of the four months that were already funded the Nigerian army. Um, if I may move to Schedule D, Appendix D. Details of releases to the Nigerian army from service-wide votes from January 2019 to April 2021. The first part of it, the year 2019. For Operation Lafia Adole, what was budgeted was 75 billion, but we ended up having to release up to 82.61 billion. Having released the 75 billion in the budget, there was an augmentation from service-wide special intervention of 7.61 billion. So that, this represents about 110% over the budget. Then um, we, I have uh, in that same schedule a breakdown of the components of Operation Latvia Dole, the Nigerian army of the 82.619 billion Nigerian army um, got a component of 35.61 billion, representing 40%, while the defense headquarters got 25%, and the uh, armed uh, Nigerian Air Force got 20, 21%. Then below, below this uh, breakdown for Operation Lafia Dole is details of some of the extra budgetary funding that uh, Mr. President gave special approvals for, and there's a total of 12. Point to 2 billion, which was also fully funded and released to the Nigerian Armed Forces. There was also a, pro, a, a special provision for Operation Kadar and Daji and Thunder Strike, Operation Thunder Strike. A specific request that was made by the Ministry of 2.54 billion was released on the approval of uh, His Excellency the President. In the year 2020, for Operation Latvia Dole, what was in the budget was 75 billion naira, and uh, 75, 74.99 billion naira was released in 2020. So that means also 100% releases. Um, we have uh, just below that a breakdown of the makeup of the 74.99 billion, still showing that the Nigerian army benefited 46% uh, at 34.64 billion of the 75 billion that was expended for Operation Lafia Dole. In the year 2020 for Operation Lafia Dole, what we have done so far is to pay for, to pay for two quarters because we pay uh, the quarters in advance, 19.79 uh, billion for each quarter. So we have re we released so far 39.72% for quarter one and quarter two on Operation Lafia Dole. Now just to explain, when you look at the details, you find that the request is made through the Ministry of Defense by the Defense Minute, uh, the Headquarters, and they detail out how each of these um, uh, funds is going to be used. So it's initiated by the Ministry, by the Defense. It goes to the President, he approves. We release what is based on what is approved. We don't have any view of the actual utilization of this. What we are doing is releasing the funds. Also in 2021, at the last page of Appendix C, you see the details of, um, sorry, the summary of the breakdown of this 39.7 billion uh, cotton across the Ministry of Defense, Defense Headquarters, Nigerian Army, Navy, Air Force, and the Defense Intelligence uh, Agency. Again, the emphasis, if I move on, if I may move on to Appendix D. 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 Yeah. Appendix D is details of releases to the Nigerian Army from service-wide vote for, for January 2019 to April 2020. So that's, that's the same appendix that I just finished. So, so the, after those appendices, we have details of each of these line expenditures, including the warrants, and in some cases, the request and the approvals are attached. So that is something we can go through uh, later. The point I just want to emphasize is that the Minister of Finance, Budget and Planning has been responsible and responsive to providing funds for the Nigerian army. We are limited, of course, by the fiscal space that is currently available, and also by what is appropriated 
in the budget. We, very, we know, I have personally met with, with the Chief of Defense Staff and all the service chiefs, and I know that the need, their need is very, very large, and uh, not in the budget, and also not even the size of funds that we can uh, approve, that, that we can afford to provide right now. So we need to all sit together and look at how we can rearrange the cost of governance so that we can shift emphasis on, on funding because there are other sectors of the economy like health and education that are also a social investment that are also critical. So that's not um, uh, something that we can decide on our own. It's something that has to be a collective effort because whatever we, we remove from the other sectors to apply to security, the other sectors will also be affected. So I want to just uh, um, say that I'm glad that this process is happening. Perhaps this will be the pathway towards looking, relooking at how we uh, fund the Nigerian armed forces, but also emphasizing that we have, from our, from our view in the ministry, been funding near 100% all the requirements of the Nigerian army. And uh, I know that there are more, because I've seen uh, additional requests. But we are limited in terms of what we are able to provide at any point in time. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.